Good evening, YouTube. This is MTP Flyers, and with all the discussion of the new MacBook Airs coming out, I wanted to go over an option which I don't think many people know exist. And if you do, I haven't heard anybody talk about it. I haven't heard it covered. What am I talking about? It's the fact that the MacBook Air has eliminated the optical drive or the CD drive on the device itself just for lack of room and uh, the, the the larger batteries they've put in and the different design they've gone with. And one of the questions with losing that optical drive is how do I install software? And one of the things that came with the uh, box itself was a thumb drive which people think, wow, maybe this is the future of getting software. Personally, I think it's a lot better. Um, but there is another way. For those of you who are familiar with the Apple uh, iMacs, MacBook Pros, uh, we're, we are accustomed to uh, the ability of connecting between devices, whether it's the MacBook Pro, other iMacs, or whatever. It seems to be very easy to uh, connect that stuff via wireless uh, um, setup. Uh, we're able to share screens. It's just a very seamless process, something that I thought was always easy when I learned to use it. However, there is a way that if you have a CD or a DVD and you have a, even a PC or another Mac or MacBook, an iMac, whatever the, whatever the device is that you have, there is a way to get that if you have a MacBook Air and you do not need an optical drive to hook up to that MacBook Air. So let's just cut right to the chase here. On the Apple website, as I checked out the MacBook Air, you know, everybody's like saying, well, you know, an option I guess would be to just buy an optical drive. Well, if you're at home or you have access to another computer that's nearby, that's on a network, there is another option. And that's called DVD or CD sharing. And what this allows you to do is basically through your network, connect to your other device, and even borrow it to download software. So, real quick, I want to show you here in, oh, going the wrong way there, in your system preferences. This was not set up on my MacBook Pro, so I did have to do that. I don't recall setting it up here on my iMac, but somewhere along the line it may have. So, when you go into your preferences, I'll show that to you again, your system preferences through the Apple, you're going to go down to your internet and wireless, and you're going to get on your sharing. Through that sharing, you can pick anything you want as far as access to the system. So there's many different ways to do that, and you can set it up however you want. In this case, we are looking at the DVD or CD sharing. So once you have that set up and all ready to go, I actually threw in the iLife 11 CD on the MacBook Pro to basically show you how it works. So you go down to your finder, and everything on your share will pop up on the left side. I even uh, took the liberty of setting up my PC to do that. And I don't know if that's going to connect or not. I was having issues with that earlier. But what we can work on right now is the MacBook Pro. And you see here I have access to the boot camp, the iLife 11 DVD install, install DVD, the hard drive, my public folder, and my stuff as well. So let's assume this is a MacBook Air. You can do this. You can double click on it. It will open it up and then you can install it. So it's a very simple way to do that. I don't know if anyone knows already, maybe it's something, I don't know, it just it didn't seem to come up as a viable option for everyone. And it doesn't matter if you have a PC or a Mac, as long as someone's on a network, you're at a friend's house, you're, you're, your parents, your, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, your friends, if you need to install something, there is a way to do it if you don't have an optical drive. So for those who were thinking about buying the MacBook Pro, I'm sorry, the MacBook Air, there's an option for you. So I wanted to show everybody that. Uh, I just thought it was kind of a cool thing to see. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, I have lots more stuff to come up. But I thought that'd be pretty neat to throw that out there for those who thought, eh, I'd spend 60, 70 bucks on an optical drive. There's another answer. So guys, you have a great night. I'll talk to you later. See ya!